What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Live NBA. Today's the day, and the reason I know today's the day is because ESPN made a whole commercial about it. That's right, Zion Williamson's debut, his NBA debut, regular season, regular season, got a whole commercial. They're hyping up Zion's debut game against the Spurs, and guess what? He deserves it, man. It's almost like perfectly aligned. He was a beast in high school, all sorts of views, everybody knew about him. He comes out, he's an amazing beast of a player in college, preseason, summer league, all the things that he played in, beast, does all these crazy highlights, crazy numbers. And then guess what? Hurts his knee, right? So now the anticipation rises. The anticipation rises. He's been out for over like, I wanna say over eight weeks. He was projected for early January, even in December. Now it's about to be late January and now he's finally coming back against the Spurs. The hype is real. To me, almost for a fact, this will be probably the most hype, if not like definitely the most hype rookie debut for like a player. Honestly, back in 2003 when LeBron had his, you know, debut, I wasn't really watching basketball like that. I was like nine or 10, maybe even eight. I was like, I was like eight or 10 or something like that. So I couldn't tell you that what the hype was like, but honestly, I know the hype here, especially with social media and all that stuff, people like me covering it, you will remember this. I know he's gonna probably have like a 15 minute restriction, but they're gonna, they're gonna get him some lobs. They're gonna get him some highlight plays because the Pelicans really need to do something to kind of turn, they're actually kind of turning the corner on their kind of bad start season. I don't know if, you know, losing Zion kind of brought that their spirits down. They feel like, man, maybe we can't win, but they were losing and, you know, Lonzo Ball was getting criticized and, you know, Ingram stepped up, Lonzo stepped up, a lot of players are stepping up and now you're getting Zion back. So my assumption is that his return will do the opposite of when he went down. He went down, the record went down. He comes back, right when he comes back is when they started turning the corner winning games. Brandon Ingram is taking off. Now you have Zion's explosive amazingness to go along with Brandon Ingram's ascension to all-star status. Okay, that dynamic duo is going to be crazy. Now, understand this. Zion Williamson is like no other player. All right. You know what I'm saying? He, I mean, yeah, he has Blake like Charles Barkley, Sean Kemp like, you know, stuff. Big power forward, catching lobs, highlight plays, this and that. But he's like 280. Someone tried to say he was Julius Randle with hops. First of all, Julius, Julius Randle is 248, 249 pounds. I looked the man's weight up. That's still like 30 pounds lighter than Zion. That's a whole different player. You know what I'm saying? He's not really like Blake. Blake was a post guy. He was a highlight guy, but he worked a lot in the post. They be curling Zion off from the top foot with a three at. Zion is almost like, like how Giannis uses his length. Zion uses his weight. All right. LeBron's 250 freight train. No, Zion's 280 freight bus nuclear. <laughs> man, that man like... That man not a train. That man is a whole meteorite coming down the paint, man. So, yo, look forward to this game. I'm telling you, it's it's gonna be record breaking, TV record shattering. I'm telling you, even if it's for 15 minutes, and that's good for the league. If y'all enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment section down below. Go ahead, like, go ahead, and subscribe. I want to hear comments about Zion Williamson's debut. Uh, let me know how you feel about it. Is he gonna take it from John? Is he gonna take the rookie of the year from John Morant? I don't think so, unless unless his play makes the team better to the point where because right now memphis who's also in the west is in that eighth spot and they won like a seven game win streak all zion has to do is average some good numbers have them go on some sort of win streak and basically bump memphis out that eighth spot i mean yeah you got to worry about you know you got the kings the suns and the spurs all those other teams you know trying to rally for that spot but honestly depending on who it is between zion and jaw in that eighth spot another 40 more games We'll see. I think Ja has it right now, but you know, like, you know, hey, Zion is a is a crazy good player. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please go ahead, subscribe. Go ahead, like, comment. Once again, I appreciate all the love. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys later.